If you're like me and you still use the original Razer Rip Saw that runs off of Synapse 2.0, it's entirely possible you've been running into audio issues in OBS Studio or really just any kind of capturing software where the audio is just horrible. The it, It's crackling. It's just unusable. I pretty much ignored it for a while. I was just like, I don't even feel like fixing this. And it had probably been about two or three months until I was like, okay, I've been ignoring it too long. I have to try and fix it. And it seems like it's more than likely an issue that deals with your computer being upgraded to Windows 10 version 2004. There are two ways that you can fix this from what I've been able to see. One, I found out on my own, and the other was just scouring through Google and some stuff that other people had tried. The first one, you can actually purchase some THX software. I'm going to have a link down at the bottom. It's... $30, but there is a two-week trial, and if you want to try that, it's been working for some people, but in my opinion, you shouldn't have to spend 30 bucks. I think Razer really dropped the ball on this one. The next one actually deals with doing a Windows 10 version rollback from 2004 to 1909, and I'm going to go over how you can actually do that. Now, one thing I will say is that these rollbacks more than likely run off of system restore and system restore shouldn't mess with any kind of data but just in case if you have any kind of important data get a flash drive external hard drive whatever move it over and then you should be good now let's go ahead let's get to it all right now to do the rollback all you got to do is go down to type here to search type in recovery Click recovery options, and you're going to see go back to a previous version of Windows 10. Started. I'm going to go through. It says this won't take long. Is it where are you going back? I feel like my stuff doesn't work. LOL. Next. Before you go back, honestly, I, I wouldn't do it. Just click no thanks. But you need to know this might uh, take a while. Yeah, um, it took me about 15 to 30 minutes when I last did this. Keep your PC plugged in. After going back, you'll have to reinstall some apps and programs. You'll lose any changes made to settings after installing the latest build. Our files backed up. It shouldn't affect them, but it's best to be prepared, of course. So then just click next. And then if you use the password to sign into your previous build, make sure you know it. You won't be able to sign in without it, of course. You just click next. Thanks for trying out this build. Then you're going to click go back to the earlier build. And that's pretty much it. The revert will probably take 15 to 30 minutes. If you follow the steps and you're not seeing anything about a version rollback, it's entirely possible you're not going to be able to do anything without actually reinstalling Windows. And if it comes down to that, join our Discord, send me a message, and I can help you with that. It's a little bit more complicated, more of a pain in the butt, but it's entirely doable, and we can fix it if you really need it to be fixed. So I hope I was able to help. I hope everyone has a great day, night, whatever the heck it is, wherever you are. And you can see my cat in the background. Hi, Roy.